You know, I started coming out here years ago and fell in love with the place. I mean, how could you not fall in love with the place? I look back at it and think, I don't know, honestly, I don't know how many times I've been here. The reason why I think, you know, you can go to a lot of different places and kill hogs, but there's only one place that's got Billy Reeves. And Billy Reeves is a, he's a friend of mine. I didn't know Billy before I got here. And that's the cool thing about the outdoors, I think, that, you know, there's so many friends of ours that we've never even met yet, if you think about that. And so when you take time and you go to a new place to go hunt, you develop these relationships that are just sitting there waiting to be had, waiting to be made. All you gotta do is just go out and make them. So on this trip, I mean, I, I'm gonna bring some really cool stuff, okay? I started out, I, I, I wound up bringing a, a pistol crossbow, a repeating pistol crossbow. This is a cool piece of equipment. I saw it at the, at the archery show. I immediately thought of Billy Reeves. I immediately thought, I know I can kill a pig with that. But I had to do a product review first. I had to get a lot of confidence in it. So I brought that, got confidence, and boy, am I excited about that. Uh, anybody that looks at this little package goes, there ain't no way in the world you're gonna be able to kill a pig, but we'll see. How's this for a cool little toy? It's a three pound crossbow. It's a pistol crossbow repeater. Pretty amazing, it has a little laser on it. I mean, on the front of it, it's got a huh. little, little laser. These are six inch long arrows. Okay, and you cock it like that. Oh, yeah. and it slides under the arrow. Yeah, it slides under the arrow with the magazine pushes down so it's in the in the barrel right here. And so you find you a nice target and you settle on it. You put your little red dot there and you... <laughs> what do you think of that? That's cool. Now, in addition to the field tips, we have hunting arrows. And I want to see if I can kill a hog with this. <laughs> Don't laugh, seriously. <laughs> okay. I'm kidding. I think that uh, I think with a well placed shot I could do it. So, have you got a spot? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got a spot for it. Okay, well, we'll give her a whirl. Billy's gonna run me in on this buggy. I'm gonna sit up here on the front. And he's gonna run me in on this little buggy and I'm ready when you are. Alright, call the limo. Andale! It's beautiful. It's the middle of May. And the weather hadn't gotten hot yet. But it can get really hot down here. When it does, the hogs move right close to dark. But it's a real nice evening tonight, mid-70s. The breeze is really good, too. So I think we could have some luck. Pigs are the greatest. I mean, as a hunter, uh, you know, I, we didn't have pigs when I was growing up to hunt. And now, like in the last 30 years, it's like they've exploded. They say there's two types of places, those places that have pigs, those, those places that soon have pigs. Well, I'm telling you what, pigs make hunting a year-round endeavor now. All right, so there's the hunting arrow right there. Take a look at that little brown head. Razor sharp, and I'll load it right in this magazine here. And if you watch the product review that I did on this, that we've got on our YouTube channel, you'll notice that I had a sight mark red dot sight on it. I've taken that off, and I have a laser on the front of it now, and it is dead on. And I'm hoping that a hog comes in. I see him good enough to where I can get him right down here below. We've got a reconic camera sitting there to hopefully gather some footage of this and I hope to be able to send an arrow to the promised land and knock him out with a one-shot punch. We'll see what happens. that first 
Colonel Corny stop and watch. I'd shot this thing hundreds of times and doing product review and got a lot of confidence in it. I knew it was accurate. Uh, I, I know that it shoots 220 feet per second, but it, it only weighs three pounds. Okay, is that adequate to kill a big pig? And, and I'm sitting here, I am blown away. Because, I mean, if I heard somebody doing that with that little crossbud called bullcorn, there's no way. But I think, I did it myself and we got it on video. We can back it up. And the deal is, it's like, and it did it ethically, quickly. And so, how cool is that? Well, I've been hog hunting lots of different places, and I've seen a lot of hogs, but I have never seen the amount of hogs that they have at this place. And you're gonna see for yourself on this video, there are hogs like that you've ever seen. And I think probably the proximity to, the, to Houston is the reason why. The Houston Intercontinental Airport, seriously, is 15 minutes right back there. And so, I mean, they do it. There's another hog back over there, about 100 yards back to the brush. There are hogs. This place is infested with hogs, and I'm sure it's because they don't get pounded with rifles. I mean, Billy, when he, I mean, he used to do a lot of rifle hunting out here, but anymore, if it's rifles, it's going to be air rifles. He does a lot of crossbows, a lot of vertical bows. And anyway, this is pretty cool because there are hogs everywhere. You want opportunity, come to Hog Wild Adventures. that noise what's that noise hold on what's that noise that's your chair yeah it's loud here fix this chair that should be good that's a lot better we ought to be able to kill a pig now no matter where I go You. And so, yeah, this little guy came in first. I put it right there on the side, boom. And he ran right over here. He kind of ran around, boom. We got him falling over. So I was like, okay, that's cool. And I cocked it again. And then all of a sudden, these guys, they came in like crazy from my right. And they came in and it was like, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a bigger one. And look, look at this. Look where I hit him right here. 
I mean, look at this projectile. I hit him right there, and when I shot him, Billy, you can see the dust come off of him. I mean, because, you know, I mean, they, I guess, yeah, look at the dust. You know, you could see the dust come off of him, and when it came, oof, then when it came off of him, it's like, I knew it was a good shot. And he ran off, he went 60 yards, That's and just amazing. stopped, and boom. What do you think of that? Amazing, amazing. This is the one I'm surprised with right here for that little bitty era, dart. I mean, it's like, it, it you know, I, I tell people it's like a wicked dart. I mean, when you start yeah. looking at it, you know? All right, we're gonna go ahead and take care of these guys. And because the arrows are in both of these, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna open them up and uh, I'm gonna show you where the arrows wound up in these guys. So that's the next project for the night. Then what are we gonna do? We're gonna eat some chicken and dumplings. You bet. Giddy up. You bet, <laughs> yeah. Might do that at the beginning. I've had lots of knives in my lifetime, but I've never had a knife that will last like a diamond blade. A diamond blade is friction forged, and that's a special process in which they wind up, they harden the blade, and therefore it stays sharp for a long, long, long time. Now, that's saying something. All right, somewhere in here there's an arrow. Let's just see if we can find it without getting in trouble. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it. Looky here, Billy Reeves. Almost good as new. You believe that? I mean, it went deep in this chest cavity. I mean, pretty amazing. And I mean, look how it tore it up in here. That is amazing, isn't it? All right, let me give you a hand with that little guy. People that wind up are just getting into hunting. Hogs are really, really wonderful animals to, to start hunting. And the reason why is because they're affordable, they're plentiful. You can hunt them in all different kinds of, in different states and with different methods. They're delicious to eat. Uh, and they're pretty doggone smart. You hunt hogs and it'll, uh, if you become a good hog hunter, you'll become a good deer hunter, I promise you. Don't you think, Billy? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, hogs have got a good nose on them. They got pretty doggone good eyes. A lot of people don't think they got good eyes, but they got pretty good eyes. Let me get this up out of your way. So this is a feedlot operation, and the primary feed that they feed is a cheese wade, big 18-wheeler trucks like this one coming in behind me. They uh, bring them in uh, th tens of thousands of gallons of liquid cheese every single day. And when they do, the, the cows, I mean, the cows just, they love eating it. Why? I don't know, because it stinks pretty bad. But these guys will come in and they squirt that stuff on the ground. And there's a river, an intermittent river that runs through Hog Wild Adventures. And that river flows depending upon how often these trucks come out here, all right? And that river, I've got a name for that river. It's the River of Cheese. Another thing that I wound up bringing was a, a, a pneumatic crossbow. Now this pneumatic crossbow is quite heavy, weighs 12 pounds and uh, uh, it's powerful and you can't cock it. It's, it's so strong. So how do you cock it? Okay, with air, pneumatically. You push a button and the limbs go how cool is that? So anyway, I got that, and then to top that off, I wound up putting a, a Pulsar Thermal Trail rifle scope on it, and uh, I think that's pretty dang cool. Hunting with thermal is about the coolest thing I've ever done, and, and there's a learning curve with it. 
you got to figure out how to operate it and, and there's lots of buttons up on the top of it. This is really pretty simple. It kind of, kind of looks intimidating, but it's pretty simple. Uh, and the reason why I say you got to learn these buttons during the daytime because at nighttime is not the time you want to be learning. You don't want to be learning when you're actually hunting. And so when you're hunting, uh, you know, I use the, the trail rifle scope on, on, my, on my gun or my crossbow and I'll wind up using the, the Helion, which is a monocular. Both of them are pulsar pieces of equipment and they're phenomenal. And what I'll wind up doing is uh, uh, typically I have a dedicated rifle with nothing but the, the pulsar trail rifle scope on it. And that way I can use it during the daytime if I want to, or I can use it during the nighttime, but it records. They now have them with a laser rangefinder, and they're an incredible piece of equipment. There's one place I can always rely on going to and seeing some action, and it's my old wood pile. And this old wood pile, I mean, I have, uh, I've killed a lot of hogs out of this wood pile. And so it's just a matter of time to so sit in the, the wood pile and, and wait. Now, the, the drawback to that is that there's a lot of cattle around there. This is a feedlot operation. I mean, they've got lots of cows. And there's a danger when you're, when you're hunting around cows, you don't want to shoot a cow, of course. But there, a lot of the hogs were right there in the way I could not shoot. There's no way because I, I didn't want to take a chance again and shoot a cow. So I got to be patient and wait and wait and wait. And all of a sudden it was like, bam, I mean, this pig comes in like he was a dragster and then stops. So he takes off, and I mean, everybody in the field got startled. And uh, when you start thinking about it, I mean, that makes a lot of noise. It's nice and peaceful and quiet. The only noise is out there are the pigs chasing each other and the cows mooing. And I mean, this hog is running out there, running out there, and running out there. And I think, I know I hit him good, and all of a sudden, he runs out of gas. Well, this turned out pretty cool. Uh, I wound up, I wanted to, to shoot a hog. I had no idea that it was going to be this big. This is probably about, let me raise up this crossbow probably about 160 pounds i mean it is stout and take a look where i hit it right here on this front of the shoulder now the thing about it is i want to i want to tell you i've been coming out here to hog wild adventures for many many years but and i always thought they had a lot of hogs they do have a lot of hogs but until i got my hands on the pulsar gear i never really knew how many hogs they had and it's absolutely stupid with hogs i mean it's no wonder that you have opportunity after opportunity every hunter that comes out here has multiple opportunities and uh, you can really see it with the Pulsar gear. And I wanna put in a little plug. If, if you've ever thought about buying Pulsar gear, first off, it's the best thermal vision equipment that there is. I wanna encourage you to check out the folks over at Superior Outfitters. Now they have a store in Tyler and Longview, but they'll also sell it to you over the telephone. Pick it up, call them, and uh, they don't charge sales tax. If you live outside the state of Texas, they don't charge sales tax. And they'll ship it right to your door. And the prices, you cannot beat the prices at Superior Outfitters. So I want to put in a plug for them. And I want to put in a plug for Billy Reeves. Billy is a longtime friend. He's got the best hog hunting, in my opinion, that I've ever been to. And if you want more information about coming right here to Hog Wild Adventures, we'll have his telephone number coming up. Give him a call. He'd love to hear from you. My name's Keith Warren, and thanks for watching.